Good evening, everyone, again. It seemed like this first video I try to make, somehow they try to make a double take. But we'll get back into it again because I'm not going to let the devil cheat me out of this message that he has given us today. Because I know it can't come from God's Word and it's obeying Him to do my best I can to bring this message. I know, and I know He led me to it because I believe in following the leadership of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, again, we're going to get back into the Father's Word and see what He has to tell us today. And today we... We'll be reading from the third chapter of Ezekiel and to see what he has to tell us. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, it's again we come to you, Lord, to thank you, Lord, for many blessings and thank you for another time that you have given us to sit down and give your words just a little while. And I pray, O oh Lord, today you anoint know, these lips of clay and give us wisdom to speak your word with understanding that every one of us can understand what you're saying to us, and it'll draw us closer to you. And Lord, I pray today you fill every heart with your Holy Spirit down within until they can feel their cup runneth over, and that when the cup runneth over to the saucer overfill and overflow to whoever is around them they speak to can feel that Holy Spirit. And I pray today, Lord, that you will let this word lead us to a deeper depth of walking with you and show us how much more we need you today than we did yesterday because we're closer home and I pray oh Lord uh, today that you will let this uh, help us to see how much we need you and to follow you and keep your commandments these things we ask in the wonderful name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and amen and thank you Father for your love and your mercy now we're going to get into God's word at chapter 3 is the book of Ezekiel, King James Version Bible. And the reason a little bit later today, at the church today, we had had a regular service. It's a good service. Then we had a, a, a funeral service for a dear sister we lost last week. That was 88 years old. And, and, but, and that's why I'm a little bit late getting here. But I still thank God for the opportunity that he let this be. Because, and my friend, we all have more to go to heaven for today than we had yesterday. Therefore, let's get into God's Word and see what He has to tell us today. I know it's great, I know it's wonderful, and I know it's the truth. Ver chapter 3, book of Ezekiel, King James Version Bible, and verse number 1. Moreover, He said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll. Huh? And go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he called me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll. And I gave thee, and, and I, I eat it, and it was my mouth as honey for sweetness. Yes, the word of God is very sweet uh, to those that are saved and uh, those that are ready to go. But my friend, it can also be bitter to those uh, that's not ready uh, uh, that it convicts uh, uh, of them of their sins uh, and lets them know uh, that they need a Savior. Uh, a lot of times they get too hard from the swallow. My friend, but my friend, if we pray to the Lord, He will make it better. And this word is sweet, my friend. Uh, and he, verse 4, And he said unto me, I son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. God, God was saying with my words. He didn't say with man's word. He said with my words unto them. 
for thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech uh, and of a hard language, uh, but to the house of Israel. In other words, he said it was sent to someone that knew their language. My friend today, he knows how to send us to those that know our language. Uh, and my friend today, the language is uh, that he loves his children uh, and he, he loves for his children to be saved and come to him. Uh, he loves for those who straight away to come back to him and walk with him I, as he started my friend today that's what he wants I, and my friend he wanted us so much he loved us enough my friend I, that Jesus went all the way to the cross to pay our sin debt in full that we could follow him that we could be saved and we could have eternal life in heaven with him one day after a while but my friend we must believe his word from beginning to the to the end like I've said many times it is the living word and Jesus Christ is the living word and it ever will be and it will stand forever in heaven it's settled to never be changed and never be removed my friend today verse 6 not to to many people of a strange speech and of and hard language whose words thou cannot understand. Surely had I had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. My friend today, how hard-hearted are people today. They still refuse to hear God's word. They can look around and see all the things that's happening in the world today uh, that's a tearing the world apart uh, and pulling Christians apart and causing so much chaos in homes and families but they cannot take God's word my friend today they will not listen to God's word that they can be healed or that they can be saved or they can be secure in their mind and knowing they are redeemed my friend today we are in the greatest time of t need of teaching God's Word than we've ever been in before because there's so much false teaching going around today. My friend, it is scary when you think about it. My friend, how it's going to lead so many astray and many that's on the church row that go to church every day. They're letting it lead them because they won't get rooted and grounded and founded in God's Word instead of reading it themselves. They're taking somebody else's Word and a lot of times the other person's word they're taking for it won't even read it themselves. They just heard it from someone else. That's not my word, but that's God's word. My friend today, he said, be, he said, beware of such false teachers. My friend today, study the scripture and show that we will know when they're false and when they're not. Verse, verse 7 but the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me, for all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their face, and their foreheads strong against their foreheads, as an adamant harder than flint. Have I made thy forehead? Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks. Though they be a rebellious house, I moreover he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thine heart, and hear with thine ears. He's also telling Ezekiel here to hear every word he had to say. Uh, the same request is made to us today that we re will receive every word he has for us whether we understand it or not we're still to receive it as God's word and as truth and in his time he will reveal to us what he wants us to know because we will be a praying and asking him for understanding that we may 
lead the people the right way, my friend, and he will give us the right understanding of the word that we can help someone else along the way. This is why we need to be a preacher, the gospel of the lost and dying world, and preach him the truth of God's word, and not hear says, but God's word, and then we will be blessed in his vineyard as we labor in his vineyard, trying to win lost souls to the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved and bring back those that are straight away from him. That's why we need to be about God's business, getting this message to the lost and dying world, to those that are dying without God every day. Verse 11, And go, get thee to them of the captive unto the children of the, thy people, and say unto them, and tell, speak unto them, and tell them, Thus saith the Lord God, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Then the Spirit took me up. Now listen to this. Then the Spirit took me up, and I heard behind me a voice of a great rushing saying, Blessed be the glory of the Lord from his place. Uh, I heard also the noise uh, of the wings of the living creatures uh, that touched one another, and the noise of the wheels over against them, and a noise of a great rushing. So the Spirit, now listen, so the Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in the bitterness of the heat of my spirit, uh, but the hand of the Lord was strong upon me. Thank God for that strong hand. Uh, that was up on Ezekiel, my friend today. I thank him for that strong hand that, that is upon us today. He will lead us right. He will take us the way he wants us to go. And the way our Lord wants us to go is the way that is right. That will lead to him. Uh, that will lead lost souls to him and be saved. That will bring back uh, those out there in the world that are strayed from him. Now listen. So the Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in the bitterness of the heat of my spirit. But the hand of the Lord was upon me. Why was he bitter? Because of the lost ones. I, my friend, he was bitter. He hurt for them. But he said, but the, but the hand of the Lord was strong upon me. Then I came to the, came to them of the captivity of Tebah that dwelt in the river of Chebar, and as it were, they sat and remained there, astonished among them seven days. And it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word of my at my mouth, and give them warning from me. That same word today is telling us to give warning to his people. My friend, we're supposed to give the warning of God's word to everyone that we can get this message across to that he is the true and only God that they are. There is no other. There is no other Savior. And there is no other name under heaven whereby a man can be saved than the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is what we must be telling them him today, Lord, and verify God's word that in him is no shadow turning, no darkness at all. My friend, if we get to heaven, we're going to have to go through the Lord Jesus Christ. And my friend, if we get there through the Lord Jesus Christ, he's going to teach us all along the way. If we'll listen to his words, my friend, today, it's time people open up their heart and begin to listen to God's word and let him speak to them and show them where they stand. My friend, today that we're living in the saddest time that we've ever known our own selves, but we don't know yet we don't know what's coming ahead of us, but we don't and we don't know who holds tomorrow. We don't know about tomorrow, but we know who holds tomorrow in his hand, and we can lean on him, we can trust on him, and he would take care of us through all the tomorrows he allows us to see and present us safely before heaven and before the throne. One day after a while, the man called Christ Jesus, uh, he'll go with us all the way, even to the end of the world, and he'll take us home to glory. Someday after a while, we'll listen to him.
Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word of my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I say unto thee, Wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, and save the wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Now see what he said here. He said, if you don't tell my people my words, uh, what I've told to you, and they die, and, and they refuse, and they don't, they refuse to hear. My friend, the, their sin will we be required of you. My friend, we are required to preach the gospel, the truth of the God's word to them. If they hear or they don't, but if they turn it away, then they going to be responsible for their own sin. My friend, but if we don't, they will be on us. My friend, therefore today, let's not be slack concerning God's word. Let's tell them the word of the gospel, whether they hear it or whether they don't, then we will clear ourselves, we make us uh, ourselves free in the hands of God because we obeyed Him and did what He called us to do. Verse 11, And go get them, to them of the captive, and to the children of the thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, Thus saith the Lord God, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. Then the Spirit took me up, and I heard behind me a voice of a great rushing, saying, Blessed be the glory of the Lord from his place. I heard also the noise of the wings of the living creatures that touched one another, and the noise of the wheels over against them, and the noise of a great rushing. So the Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in the bitterness of, in the heat of my spirit, that the hand of the Lord was strong upon me. How strong is his hand upon us today! Then I came to them of the captivity of Tabor that dwell in the river of Chebar, and I sat there where they sat and remained there astonished among them seven days. How many would us sit for seven days waiting on the Lord to speak to us and direct our path and tell us the way he wanted us to go? My friend, if we can't sit one hour, if we can't sit 15 minutes and listen to God's word, how in the world would we sit for seven days and wait on God? My friend, Friend, let's examine ourselves with this question. How many of us would willingly sit and wait on the Lord seven days and not get discouraged and give up and say he's not coming? My friend, many people are doing that today. They're saying he would delay his coming, my friend, but he's going to come suddenly when they're not looking for him. Verse 16, And it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word of my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I say unto thee, Wicked, thou shalt surely die, and that thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity or in his sin in his iniquity. But the blood will I require at thine hand because you failed to tell them, because you failed to speak my word today. How many today are failing to speak God's word? I pray to offend somebody, pray to hurt somebody, pray to run somebody off. My friend, get away from that being afraid to run somebody off, but get in and be afraid 
that you won't preach God's word like it should be and bear down a little bit harder on God's word and deliver that message so somebody will hear. My friend, even those that so hard-hearted they can't understand nothing that that spirit can touch your heart and soften their heart up they re can receive the word of God. Verse 19, Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. You delivered yourself by preaching God's word. What I have told you to preach and teach my, tell my people, if by doing it, you have delivered your own soul. My friend, how many today have still got their soul in bondage because they will not deliver the truth of God's word. They want to smooth it over and slick it up. So people what fall for it and send them more money, give them more money. My friend, it ain't done that away. Twenty again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness. Now listen to this part also. This is very, very important that you don't hear talked about it much today. He said again, when the righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him. He shall die because, because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thy hands. And it means we are to tell everyone, not just a few, not one here, one there, but everyone the same word of God. Therefore, if he is straight away, we are yet to tell him that would bring him back. If we fail to do that, then his blood would die, be on our hands, even though he died in his sins. His blood will be on our hands. 21. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he doth not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned also that because he is warned also thou had delivered thy soul again we deliver our own soul but by preaching and telling them the truth that they need to turn back to God and they need to refrain I quit doing these sins my friend that they may hear and be healed and be saved we fail to do that then it's going to be required at our hands because we failed to preach and teach them the God's word as he commanded us to do. 23, 22, And the hand of the Lord was there upon me, and he said unto me, Arise, go forth into the plain, and I will there talk with thee. Then I arose and went forth into the plain, and behold, the glory of the Lord stood there, as the glory which I saw by the river of the Shebar, and I fell on my face. Uh, then the Spirit entered into me, and set me upon my feet, and spake with me, and said unto me, Go thy, shut thyself within thy house. But, but thou, O son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee. And he told him, he said, behold, said, but thou, O son of man, behold, or watch for it. They shall put bands upon thee, and shall bind thee with them, and thou shalt not go out among them. And I will make thy tongue clay to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. In other words, it's some people he will not let to speak to because they are so rebellious. He talked about here that he would... Now let me read this again. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, or to tell, remind them of their sin. 
for they are a rebellious house. They had turned away and rebelled so much. He had, they, he had turned from them. My friend today, beware unless we get into the same shape by refusing to preach and teach God's word as he called us. Uh, from being afraid we offend and hurt someone's feelings. 27, but when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. But, but he said again here, When I speak to you again, I will open your mouth, but you tell them what I said, whether they hear. But he said, They will not hear, because they are a, a rebellious house. My friend, we've never lived in such a rebellious time than we're living in today, but we're still to teach them and tell them of God's word and his love and his mercy and his grace and also not be ashamed to tell them if they don't repent of their sin and get saved, hell will have to be their home because there are only two choices, two places to go. One place is to heaven above, and the other place is hell down below. And the only way we'll make it to heaven is through and by the Lord Jesus Christ and accepting Him as our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And when we're praying to be accepted to the Lord Jesus Christ, let's also pray that He will accept us and save us from our sins. And my friend today, to those that's lost, if it's a day, if there's anyone lost, I pray this will be the day they get saved. If anyone straight away, I pray this will be the day they come back. And again, I don't know what happened in the first part of this video, but yet I wouldn't let the Lord defeat me because I know whom I serve, and I know him in whom I believe, and I know he will guide my footsteps until he called me home, and I pray he will you too. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, it's again we come to you with thankful heart to thank you for many blessings and thank you for another day that you've given us in your Holy Spirit that you sent this way. We thank you for the word you delivered, brought to us, Lord, and helped us deliver. And I pray, O oh Lord, your word will not return void. You already said it wouldn't. And I pray, O oh Lord, today that you help it lead us all stronger and closer to you. Give us a greater desire and hunger to follow you that when this life is over, we can go to meet you and, up for, and live with you forevermore. Lord, we pray for those that's lost, that you'll save someone today because we don't want, don't want no one to die with that go it leave this world unprepared to meet you. And Lord, we pray for those sick and afflicted in the body. You reach down, heal, deliver, and touch, and set free if it be your loving will. But Lord, if it's not your will for them to be healed on here, I pray you let them be a witness to those around them that know them, that you can, they can, you can still be a true witness to them and know, they can know what you still love and serve the Lord, knowing they will, you will be healed and one day after a while in God's time. And Lord, I pray you keep us walking humble before you. And when you get through with us in this life, Lord, I pray, oh Lord, that we can, and take us home, we can bow our head and step beside and give you the praise and honor and glory that we can't give you today because Lord we're still in the flesh we're still in this old body but then we can praise you forevermore because we've been as spirit as you are and we can join the heaven the, those that have gone before us uh, that are waiting for our coming and we can join a happy angel band and sing around the throne and tell the old story how we were saved by grace and how you gave your life on Calvary for us and Lord when we get there we can take our all, all the time we need because we'll be there forever for all eternity as long as eternity rolls and, and when we've been there 10,000 years there'll be no less days to sing your praise than when we first begun and I pray oh Lord one more time that you save someone this evening before they sleep tonight and when you do call us home we, we, we will go in peace these things we ask in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and amen and thank you, Father, one more time for your mercy and for your grace.